Hello, this is Chef John from FoodWishes.com with my recipe for buttermilk fried chicken, one of my favorite recipes of all time, and not that hard to put together. And uh, just for fun, I'm going to show you how I break down a whole chicken for fried chicken. I'm going to take off the wing tips. Those are useless. I'm going to dejoint the wings right where they attach to the body. All right, the thigh leg section comes off. Don't be afraid to snap and dislocate. And then that gets cut between the drumstick and the thigh. Yes, this is quick, but go back and watch it, you know, seven or eight times. You'll see. So once the legs and thighs are done, I'm left with basically the carcass, which has the backbone and the breast. And you'll notice I'm using a nice heavy cleaver, the ultimate tool for a chicken breakdown. Snap the backbone like that, cut the breast in half, and then each breast gets cut in two pieces. All right, and you'll notice here when I cut the breast in half, I slice down till I hit the bone and then I give it one pound with my hand so it goes through in one shot nice and clean. Otherwise you get like bone fragments. So there's my four breast pieces, my two thighs, drumsticks, and the two wings. All right, into the bowl it goes. Black pepper, salt, paprika, dried herbs, white pepper, cayenne, and that gets tossed. All the Believe it or not, 11 herbs and spices will be on this site. Okay, after that's well tossed with the spices and herbs, you're going to top it with buttermilk. And we're going to let that sit for six hours. You can get away with four. You can go overnight if you want, but I like six hours. All right, then we're going to make some seasoned flour, which is just flour, salt, some paprika, some cayenne, some garlic powder, some white pepper, and some onion powder. So give that a mix. After the buttermilk marination, the chicken pieces get dredged. Oh my god, there's a fire truck going by. Hate when that happens. The chicken gets dredged in that seasoned flour well. There you want it really nicely coated. Give it a little shake off, put it on a plate, and then we're ready to fry. And what we're gonna do, and there's lots of different ways to fry this. I'm gonna take a Dutch oven, all right, that's a big eight-quart Dutch oven, and I have about two and a half quarts of oil in there and I'm gonna fry all eight pieces at once now some people like to fry in a skillet in just like an inch or two of oil and then they do it in batches and they turn it halfway through you know I don't have the patience I want it to all be done at the same time of course this uses twice the oil but you know what how often do you make fried chicken like once a year so at 350 I'm gonna cook that for about 10 minutes it's going to develop a nice crust. I'm going to go in after 10 minutes and just move it around a little, just in case some pieces are stuck together. I want to cook evenly. That's going to go for about another 10 to 15 minutes. So it's about 20, 25 minutes total in the hot oil to cook all the way through. Now, while that's finishing up, I like to take a rack and put it on some paper towels on a sheet pan. And that's what I'm going to use to drain the cooked chicken on. All right, so that's ready. And the chicken's ready. Look at that. Unbelievably beautiful. So again, that's been about 20 to 25 minutes total in the oil. I'm going to fish it out with my spider, that little strainer thing you see there. And what beautiful chicken. Impossibly crispy, amazingly delicious. Don't bite into it for about 10 minutes because it's so hot. You won't enjoy it. You'll just burn yourself. So 10 minutes later, we had a delicious plate of fried chicken. And I just could not bring myself to eat this in front of you. But trust me, it was every bit as good as it looks. That is not a hard recipe. It does take a little bit of work, but completely worth it. So like I said, 11 herbs and spices, believe it or not, are what was included in this. You can go to the site, count them yourself, because all the ingredients are listed there. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.